Hey everybody, it's No Limb Jim, and it's my time to eat crow. I'm going to admit it, I was wrong about this vehicle parked here in the handicap spot. I just had a nice long face-to-face -face conversation with Jackie, the head of public safety here at Inver Riddle. And apparently this is, belongs to a student or a faculty member who is severely handicapped and has a special provision to be able to park here. Now legally it is supposed to have a handicap placard and it doesn't, but um, it is legitly there for somebody who needs it for, uh, for handicapped access. So I wanted to come back on and admit that I was wrong and say that I have had a good conversation with Jackie. Hopefully we will affect change that will help change things here at Emory Riddle. I'm about to go talk to the Dean of Students about the video that I posted the other day. However, I did see again today another Emory Riddle vehicle parked in a handicap spot just because, oh, we're only unloading for a couple of seconds. So I'll, I'll talk to the school about that as well. But school vehicles seem to habitually violate ADA parking regulations on a, on a pretty regular basis just so they can unload and load. I've seen it over at the Micaplex where a vehicle from Sodexo is coming over to deliver some food to the Micaplex and some other vehicles. Today it was the kids delivering to the mail room. I talked to them and uh, I educated them and they're like, hey, we're sorry, we didn't know. We won't do it anymore. We'll see if they do. But I was wrong about this one and I need to let you guys know this one was legit. The rest of them were not legit. Campus Safety did admit that that vehicle was parked there. Their vehicle was parked there uh, prior to the emergency. It was not because of the emergency. They do think that it's not a handicap spot. By law, a hash mark spot next to a handicap spot is for wheelchair access and is a no parking zone. So I got to educate them that, on that. I'm gonna actually show them the ADA and the statutes for Florida. And maybe we can affect some change here. So. If you're inclined, do reach out to the university, talk to them about compliance with the ADA and why it's so important, especially for their employees who are making examples for the students. Guys on No Limb Gym, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel.